I'm here with Donald Jackson um, to talk about this whole project. Donald, take me right back to the beginning when you first had the first meeting with the committee in St John's. I walked that morning on the campus in part of what had been the holy ground of the Indians, mm -hmm. where the burial ground was, and I got into a clearing on this little island in a lake, yeah. which was what the spot was. The sun came out, and I stopped, and a young fawn came out of the, the scrub towards me. Wow. And as it got, say, within a few yards, its mother came slowly out, not charging out, but slowly out, nervously towards it and sort of indicated this is uh, not the thing to be doing those guys you know <laughs> don't and this fawn just looked at me and it looked at its mother and then the two of them just slowly turned and they both walked off out of this clearing and at that point a crow I, I saw a shadow on the ground and I looked up and a crow just went straight over me and it was I saw the I mean so I was strangely I was completely in tune with or at least connected with nature actually and on my way back I could feel the sun in my face towards this meeting and I was doing breathing exercises breathing in for the sun breathing out the sun and I walked into that room as prepared as I've ever been for anything really I was calm and I walked in and my first question to them was you know, do you want, do you want this? I know I'm a risk taker, I, I just do, and I don't know what, what, where that comes from, but I know I do. And so if I see something really tidy and I like in my own design work, is that I'll do something very structured, and then I'll just take the paint and I'll just go whack straight onto it, splash everywhere. So you get that, yeah. that, what's gonna happen, but you get that absolute instant excitement against a really carefully articulated, beautifully crafted something else. Yeah. And, but there's that, A, a risk, and B, a lot of life, and that sort of, so that's the moment that I am looking for always, right. to where I can take a chance, really, at the end of it. Yeah. But yeah. I ended up doing paintings of faces and hands and things, whereas I am a graphic artist. I mean, I'm very good at lettering, and I'm very, I've got loads of good ideas that I never put into this because I gave those ones to the people whose strengths that was already, and that meant I ended up very often, I think, quite often, with the job that nobody else wanted. <laughs> and that's so I ended up though. doing it, yes. yes. And so that's why a revelation was for me. Yeah. How, how have you dealt with that yourself, the energy and the creativity that you, Donald Jackson, have gathered together over the last 13 years. How do I uh, feel about that? Mm. I'm going to say something which I very un find difficult to say, but I feel quite proud of that achievement, of having maintained a, a healthy, working, creative, wonderful productive relationship with all that group mm. and Mabel mm. timing is everything as you've said and I was the right person at the right time and there's a nice feeling to that and that this whole gathering together and seeing the people just talking away to each other they don't have to be talking to me nobody's wanting to talk to me they don't need to and the, the whole noise level is there it's our job just to see that they've got the right you know, ambience for it all, and they facilitated it to, to do and speak and be together. And uh, uh, so I do feel actually that both Mabel and I have presided over something which we can feel very proud of. So I'm saying goodbye to it in a nice sort of way, and it's been good. It's quite hard work, but uh, I have more work to do. Um, in, first of all, I'm looking forward to the finishing touches that I want to put in, and also afterwards I've got other things to do to do with the Bible, but um, it is the end of a, 
it will be the end of a chapter. And I think it is, it is huge, really, achievement, but it doesn't, it's not, I don't feel part of history. I just feel good about it, actually.